For more on this story, uh, we're joined by France 24's expert on jihadist movements, uh, Wassim Nasser, who joins us on the phone. Uh, Wassim, tell us what we know uh, so far about the death of Abu Bakr Shekau. Yes, actually, we knew this like 15 days ago, and it's, uh, it was the work of uh, a Nigerian journalist of Human Angle, and Ahmed Salkida uh, confirmed it this uh, Saturday regarding this audio that uh, you mentioned. Actually, it's a non-official audio that circulated inside the, the ranks of the Islamic State, where they described what was a bit already known, that uh, Shikawu activated his explosive belt and that he was purchased by Islamic State jihadis in order to finish with him. But what's new in this audio, we know that uh, it was done upon the orders of the caliph, meaning the caliph, the head of the Islamic State in the 11th, uh, in the 11th region. On the other hand, we knew that there was uh, friction because at first Chikawo vowed allegiance to uh, Baghdadi, who died today, and he was supposed to follow uh, certain terms uh, in order for this allegiance to be accepted, which was done, and then he was destituted by Baghdadi himself because he didn't respect those terms and because he was considered too extremist. And I myself followed this, and I listened to the internal audios at the time that explained why he was excluded from Islamic State for extremism. So you can imagine to what extent his extremism was uh, actually very harsh on, local, uh, on locals. Uh, and then Barnawi took over. Barnawi is the son of the, uh, of the, of the person who created uh, Boko Haram uh, uh, at the time. So we're talking about a leader, Abu Bakr uh, Sheka, who was even too extreme for the Islamic State. Mm. What does this mean then for Boko Haram going forward? Well, actually, at this point, uh, the, the, Lake, the Lake Chad uh, province or the West Africa province of the Islamic State is one of the most active uh, today. It's where they have uh, uh, some kind of uh, governance, where they have fixed checkpoints around Maiduguri, for example. And for instance, their branch in the Sahara region depends from uh, West Africa. We can say clearly today that they have the upper hand, but uh, follow, Chicago still has followers wouldn't abide, wouldn't accept to come back to the ranks of the, uh, of the Islamic State. Many did, actually, but some did not accept. But we can say clearly today that they were capable to chase him into the Sambisa forest, his hideout since, uh, since years, and that they have the upper hand today in this, uh, in this region, making it more, more, much more dangerous for local authorities because they are much more constituted, much, much more professional. They have a professional army and much more, uh, how can I say, uh, playing politics politics regarding uh, the locals. For example, they, they have uh, a tax system, they have a welfare system, uh, they have welfare for their fighters. So it's much more uh, organized, uh, if I may say so, than uh, Chicago, so much, much, much more deadly and much more uh, dangerous. Okay, thank you very much for that, Wasim Nasir, uh, giving us uh, a bit more uh, information on this developing story that we're following for you here on France 24.